Hi there, I'm Laurence of C1 Team, and today I have here Delphine, who will answer your questions on C1 Answers. So Delphine, sometimes it's very difficult to treat chronic migraines. How do you suggest we do that? Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, chronic migraines, where is that? Could be a topic for a three days class. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if I can give some tips, um, I would say there are two ways of uh considering the migraine either the purpose is like emergency treatment that you have a patient there and you immediately want to give relief uh in that sense i would say that um uh, it's it's very uh straightforward you go for the location mm -hmm. so if basically if the the, ble the the bladder meridian is involved and or the the gallbladder so you, you can diagnose really just by the meridian pathway. And then, of course, um, if, it's, uh, if it's at the moment where the migraine is really like everywhere, then you consider all of the meridians. If the migraine is involving a big area of the meridian, for example, the whole UB meridian, um, you will uh, uh, image that differently than if it's only one point, for example, um, a sinus uh, headache here on the bladder, just very centered, very localized. Um, so it depends. If it's a big area of a meridian, then you can start with using a, a non-precise projection, but a sensitive one, mm -hmm. meaning that you can, for example, project the head onto the hand or even the, the whole head onto the phalangeal or the whole hand onto the finger. And that will help you uh, use very sensitive points and very few needles. Uh, however, if the migraine is uh, at the moment it's very precise, um, then uh, it's better to project onto something bigger to allow for more precision. For example, if it's here, then you can project the head onto the whole upper limb and then uh, urinary bl bladder can easily be balanced system two and four by the lung. And then you can carefully pal palpate around line five for ashy point. Um, if your purpose is more to treat um, the migraine itself, not, ne not necessarily just the pain at the moment, uh, or if the patient comes at a moment where he she doesn't have pain, but could have chronically the migraine, um, then you are going to consider many more uh, parameters. Uh, you can ask for triggering factors. Um, is, does it come with a menstrual cycle, for example? Uh, did it start with menopause? Um, is it aggravated by lack of sleep? Is it aggravated by uh, certain emotions? Then which ones? Um, is it uh, aggravated by certain kind of food? Um, well, that's another uh, uh, that's another way to look at the migraine. And then also you can look at the other symptoms that the patient may suffer from, which seem not related to the migraine, but are part of the whole patient. For example, you can ask about the patient's sleep, the, pa the patient's uh, bowel movement, uh, patient's respiratory problems, etc., etc. So you evaluate the different functions of the patient. And putting all these things together, meaning where is the migraine in terms of meridian pathway, uh, meaning what are the triggering factors or aggravating factors of the migraine, and then uh, what are the other things that the patient is showing, putting all these together, then you can find the most adapted uh, treatment for that patient at that moment. So it's difficult to give precise uh, points or, or tips because there are so many different possibilities and what I like is is not necessarily to give points but I like to uh, empower people to understand how they can approach different patients because a combination of point will be um, valid or effective maybe on one or two patients but won't work for all the other patients because every patient is different so that's why uh, I prefer to give uh, clues on and opening windows on what to consider 
And then uh, from the teaching that we, we give in the AccuCore and AccuAdvance, then you have all the tools to practically find your points. Okay, thank you very much. So as you can see, asking the right questions will help you treat those migraines. If you have any more questions for us, please let us know and give us a thumbs up. Bye. Bye-bye.